Hi, this is uh, Tony from SportsWorld.hk. Today we're going to talk about uh, tire sealants, different tire sealants we sell and how to use them. Just to show you, this is the inside of a uh, Continental Competition tire. Basically, what we've got underneath the base tape inside is a butyl tire. We can tell because it's black and the uh, tire casing around it. This here is a, uh, a latex inner tube. Latex inner tubes, we see them on zip tires or Victoria tires. Basically, it's either green or uh, yellow. And uh, it's a bit thinner as well. Slightly different road feel and uh, arguably a little bit more fragile as well. And uh, this is a Tufo tire. Basically, it's got the same a butyl tire just like the uh, Continental. However, the butyl is bonded to the tire casing. It doesn't come apart. At Sports World we sell uh, three different types of um, tire sealants. Stands, tire sealant, no tubes. A Zephyl and a Tufo. So why do we sell three different types? Basically they each have their uh, specific uh, optimal use, specific purpose. The uh, stands actually goes in uh, wet. It's not very viscous. This uh, into your tire uh, as a preventative measure before you get a flat and it should help prevent or it'll seal any uh, flats that you happen to get on the road. The Zephyl is uh, great to carry on the road. It's uh, pressurized so it's an aerosol. It's got um, a universal valve, so you can use it on both a uh, Schrader or a pressed tube. Let me see. It's got a nice Velcro strap, so you can fix it to your bike. And basically, this is your uh, best friend if you're doing a triathlon and uh, you want some sort of insurance. Basically, all you do is uh, pop it on, press the button, it'll send sealant into your uh, tire. And uh, it is pressurized, so you do get a bit of pressure from it, but uh, I recommend uh, topping it off with a bit of uh, extra air from either a pump or a, a CO2 cartridge. But this is your best friend on a long ride, and it's basically all you need to carry with a pump. Uh, the Tufo Extreme uh, Tire Sealant. This will seal almost any uh, flat. It also comes with this uh, handy valve removal tool. You can use this to remove the uh, valve core on your tire. So to use the uh, stands, what I do basically with a uh, brand new tire, before I've installed it on, using the, uh, the Tufo valve tool, pop the valve core off. Basically pour some in. And that's it. And it'll stay in your tire wet until it's needed. To use the uh, Tufo Extreme uh, tire sealant, after we've had a flat, this works great. I've actually uh, repaired some uh, tires that have gone on to last an entire year. It's very, very strong. It works beautifully. Take the uh, valve core out using the uh, Tufo valve tool that comes actually with the uh, Sealant, turning counterclockwise, pulling it out. Then all I do is I take the sealant, I pour it in, and Tufo recommends putting in one third of the bottle. It'll usually be more than enough. One of the things about the uh, Tufo tire sealant is that it works really, really well with the butyl tube. It's actually not recommended for a uh, latex tube. Basically, it has a solvent in it that will dry this out. So don't use the uh, Tufo tire sealant on uh, either a Zip or a Vittoria tubular tire. It works great, however, on a uh, Tufo or a Continental tubular tire. So basically on the tire sealants, three different types of tire sealants for different purposes. Basically we've got the uh, Tufo tire sealant, use this after you've gotten a flat. The Zephyl, which you can use on the road, great for um, on the fly repairs. You just need to top it off with uh, a bit of CO2 or a bit of air from the pump. And we also sell the no tubes or the uh, stands tire sealant, which basically stays liquid 
in your tire. You put this in uh, before you need it, so as a preventative measure, and it stays liquid until you actually get a flat. Once again, thanks for watching. I'm Tony from uh, SportsWorld.hk.